All right, so let's talk about using comments in the EV3 Classroom platform. First of all, why uh, do comments? We'll talk about two different types of comments that we can use and what makes them actually a useful comment. So why bother with comments in the first place? Um, we're, we want to help the author of the code so you basically remember what you were trying to accomplish especially the longer a program gets the easier it is to get lost in all that process so record that pseudo code that you already wrote you already already thought through what a program should do um, that'll help you kind of process through that makes it a lot easier to, to debug along the way um, you can take notes on values and tweaks that you've made in the past um, most importantly, you want your code to be able to be read by someone other than you in the future. Um, so this kind of gives someone else kind of a structured um, uh, background to what this code is actually doing. Um, this is a good habit to get into. So in the EV3 Classroom platform, you can right click on any block and add a comment attached to that block. You can also click in the background in the canvas too to add a comment that's not attached to a block. But this is what we're going to use um, to comment along the way. Um, so this is what they'll look like. Um, you can move them around. It gives you a block to type into. Um, you see these are connected to uh, the blocks themselves. Now what makes this useful and not useful? Um, something that's useful, telling the reader what the bot is doing. So getting big picture, zooming out to that pseudocode level of what is supposed to be happening here. What's not useful is repeating the thing that the code already says. You know, moving straight uh, that far is, is the code already says that. Zoom out one level. So you're not commenting every single line. Give us a general sense of what is happening here, then here, then here. That's the idea.